step one. We could really go rise in the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. So that's leg one of my journey, we're now halfway through. Um, so I've come from London, cycled across to St Pancras, and now I'm just at Derby Station. Uh, so from here, I'm going to head out towards the peaks. How you make it, set a goal you control, and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration, and if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do the same. So, just out of Derby now. Don't quite know where I am. I'm somewhere between Derby and the Peak District, and it's just so nice. I'm out in the fields. Um, yeah, so I can just finally unload and just leave all my troubles behind for a few days and just uh, enjoy the greenery. Uh, so I'm about 10k away from where I'm staying today and I've looked at my Garmin and I've got a big old hill to go up and I've just been like driving along wondering whether, wondering when I'm going to come to this hill and I've just seen it. <laughs> it uh, the camera's flattening it a lot but straight ahead where that patch of so just there that's the hill and it's absolutely huge so I've got to go over that so carrying all of this has made this uh, ride a lot lot slower so I've got uh, just a load of load of kit, load of clothes, my laptop. That's it really. A pair of shoes in that saddlebag. But it's a lot to carry. It's heavy. I'm the only one here at the moment. There's clearly a few more people, but uh, seems all right. I'm in a private room tomorrow. <laughs> so I've just got a steak slice from the local shops. And it looks absolutely lovely, very greasy. So that's day one coming to an end. We've got a beautiful sunset here, um, but you can't actually see anymore. I just enjoyed it. Um, that's cows. <sighs> so it's a beautiful morning in Hartington. Um, look at the peaks just out behind me. Um, I forgot how happy this place, place makes me. So the plan for today is to head up uh, over behind me. Uh, there's a hill called Cromer Hill. So we're going to be heading up that and looping around down into Bakewell, uh, where I'm going to get a tart, hopefully, and a coffee. Um, then I've got a 10k climb. It's quite a shallow climb, but it goes on for 10k up into High Tor, and then we're heading over to Thor's Cave. So it should be quite an interesting cycle, and uh, lots of views like this, hopefully. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah 
I work hard each and every day. I get lost in the words. Of about 15 minutes of climbing not sure if you can see it but I've got the lovely 10k climb ahead the 10k of climbing ahead and you can't really see the top but it's up there somewhere we we're going high tour um, so I'm quite excited see how long I survive Twenty to twenty-five minutes later, I've made it to the top. It was a, it was a long old drag. With some uh, bits of steep bits, I think it peaks at about twelve percent somewhere. Just like not stupid steep, but in the middle of a ten k's worth of climbing. It's not what you fancy. Uh, so I'm now well over halfway through my ride. Uh, where am I heading next? Heading downhill. Uh, I think I'm heading over to High Tour. I think I'm in Matlock, and I think I just head over the top to High Tour. Or maybe I'm not in Matlock. I'm going to look at a map. Right, so I'm in Longcliff, and I'm heading down into Ashbourne. Uh, let's have a look. So yeah, down into Ashbourne. There's a couple of climbs fairly steep but uh, not as long and then from Ashbourne over to Thor's Cave uh, hopefully there'll be some nice views and I'll pause and take a video climbing this is my view it just doesn't seem worth it so I've just gone literally 20 meters down the road and this is my view seems a bit more worth it now uh, yeah, it's just gorgeous. So green and so pleasant. Well, for some reason, my gears just decided to, to stop working. Um, I'm about 20k from home, uh, so I just had to redo the cable of my rear derailleur. Um, but it wasn't too bad, I managed to get it going in about five minutes actually. about to admit that I completely forgot how much harder it was riding out in the peaks solo uh, than it is riding in London and around the flat surrounding areas. I just 
the hill I've just been up, it didn't even really register on my Garmin. And it's like three times harder than uh, Box Hill. So I continued over towards Thor's cave on the final few kilometres of my journey. And just as I was going up one of the final few climbs on my Garmin, I got a little bit lost and not really worked out where I was. I looked over my shoulder and saw the big hole in the hill, which of course was Thor's cave. To be honest, I completely missed out on the view because as I was uh, climbing this hill, um, looking at the cave, the heavens opened and it started to pour. I had a few kilometers left and I was grinding up this hill. The hill kicked up, it became steeper. Turns out it was a category three climb. Um, and I started trying to really get back much quicker back and ended up getting lost. I added a further 15K to my journey that day and got back to the hostel absolutely drenched. So Friday morning, and this is one of the downsides uh, to being in the countryside. It's an absolutely huge spider um, was just in the shower. So it's day three of cycling in the peaks. Um, I'm having a lovely time. Yesterday I got caught in the rain right at the end of the ride. Uh, that's why I didn't get any footage of Thor's cave. Also got a bit lost. Uh, but today is an absolutely beautiful day. Look at that. Ooh. Um, and I'm heading up to Winnets Pass. And why did the cars start? Now, so I'm heading over to Winnets Pass, which is a horrible, horrible climb. I'll get it on the GoPro. Um, yeah, and then there's a lovely coffee shop somewhere up there as well. So one of the things I love about the peaks is you can be down in the valley and have the hills looming over you. So I'm right down in one at the moment. And you can just see them. The camera's... The camera's going to flatten it a lot, but... It's... Just, uh, so Mam Tor is just behind those trees. Uh, and it's absolutely looming at the moment. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle out, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way On the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I'm dying through the cloud I ain't fight pain You never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta put the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got to be the real And you just believe They'll see with the negativity But I just I'm at the top of uh, Winnets Pass and that is without a doubt one of the hardest climbs I've ever done. I've done it once before whilst I was at uni and I remember it being utterly hellish. It's just such a grind. I think I'm in 34, 32 I think. And it's just, it's just not enough gears. I was looking at my watts and I'm like 350 watts and 350 watts and you just it's just still you just can't put it's just you're just grinding to a halt hell so the segments cattle grid to cattle grid the good view comes a bit after I've stopped it just after the second cattle grid and uh, yeah I'll show you the view in a minute so that big mound in front is Mamtor. Um, 
not sure if my camera will pick it up, uh, but there's quite a few people up there paragliding, parasailing, something like that. You sort of see them dots in the sky. What a gorgeous day for it as well. I see for miles. Coffee number one living up to its name as a gorgeous cup. I got served one in Bakewell yesterday. It was called a flat white and it, it, it wasn't even espresso based. Dreadful. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping off Singing straight Never stop Never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say Yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause No I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say So, I am back from my ride and that draws to a conclusion my two big rides in the peaks uh, and the Derbyshire Moors and the Staffordshire Moors mainly the peaks so I'm just out for a walk to try and stop my legs easing up it's a lot of climbing over the past few days and just wanted to have a chat to the camera in this gorgeous gorgeous surrounding um, let me explain a bit about why I came up here and why I've been cycling around like a madman on my own for a few days. This is a donkey. Hello. Hey. Why have I come up here? So, uh, life's been hectic at the moment. Um, you might have noticed I've not really been posting very much on YouTube. Work has been hard. I've just started at a new place and it's always tough starting at a new place but it's been particularly tough this one. Um, but I'm settling in but that's just a, a load of stress in the cup. And then found out some uh, some news about my uh, parents' health, um, which I'm not going to go into on YouTube, but yeah, that's, let's go this way, that's also added to the stress. I've also been trying to take on a few extra bits of work in the rowing world where I've got this rowing crazy YouTube channel that I'm trying to start up with rowing crazy. As a combination of all of this, plus trying to train full time, I've been really feeling up against it. And when I get stressed, I normally just start getting ill almost immediately. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I've had to come away from London for a bit, just a few days. Um, I needed to take some annual leave because I've barely taken any this year, which probably has just made me more stressed. I used to come out to the peaks to take my mind off things, try and relax, 
uh, and try and just figure stuff out. And that's what I've done here. I love the Peak District, absolutely love it. And just coming up here with my bike, nothing else. I've barely got a phone signal, so I've not really, the, the internet is near non existent. So I've just had nothing. It's just been me, my mind, and just some beautiful, beautiful countryside. Um, as you can see, all around me. And I've loved it.